one message that I try to bring across is that there is not just one nature. There are very many repertoires that we have in thinking about nature, but also in ordering and understanding and organizing nature. And that it is important in Europe that we do not try to strive after sort of consensus or coherence, but that we work with those different repertoires. That is not just economics, just ecology, just uh, sociology or anthropology, but that we th think through and work through those different repertoires. And my second message was that it's not so easy to see what Europe is in this context, because it's not the, the nature that is relevant to Europe is not just the nature within the boundaries of the European Union. Because if I eat a banana, it comes from Costa Rica. So uh, the, the nature that we have here also, or the things that we do here, affects what happens for in this particular example in Costa Rica. But also, if we have uh, motors here that, uh, that pollute or that increase CO2, that has global effects. We don't talk about global warming for nothing. So on the one hand, uh, it's relevant what happens in Europe to Europe. But on the other hand, Europe has a big responsibility as well for how it affects nature across the globe. One of the difference differences, relevant differences between different repertoires that we have to think with in thinking about natures is that we can conceive of nature as a collection of creatures, let's say a bird, a cow, a human being, etc. and so on. And all these creatures are individuals and uh, are relevant in and of themselves. But we can also understand and approach nature as a, a set of processes in which one creature depends on the other. Let's say the human drinks milk of the cow and the cow eats grass and the grass uh, feeds on, worm, on, the, on the excrement of the worms, etc. and so on, in where then nature is a process that in which the life of all the various creatures that are part of it depend on each other.